Sell boy army, what is going on? It's your boy Zalonis, my spicy friend back here, cooking up some tactics in the kitchen. Mr. Ainsley, how are you? How you doing today, Ainsley? No response, fair enough. 352 with the tactics this weekend. For years on FIFA, I've wanted to use 352 and try that formation, but it's just not been that viable, in my opinion. But with how this game plays this year, I was struggling to break people down that much in the 4 2 3 1. Don't worry, it's a brilliant formation for defending, keeping the ball. I've just always preferred the two strike formations. The 3 5 2 just has so many patterns in attack with the two wingers, the two strikers. So I'm going to go through my tactics that I hit 30 0 of this weekend and break them down for you. I'm going to say it now. I don't want to see stupid comments in the chat saying I could hit 30 with this team. No, you couldn't. I, I get a bit bored of it. I, I last 30 in our tactics I did. There was at least 10 plus comments of people saying if you if I had this team, I'd get it anyway. Saying the tactics are irrelevant. Don't get me wrong, the team helps. But there's lots of people with teams as good as this. Or even teams that I've seen people with teams better than this. They don't even hit elite. Yes, the team makes a difference. Yes, the tactics aren't going to change you from a silver player to a top 100 player. But if you have a good foundation on your tactics and listen to what I share in this video, if you're struggling with formation, this might help you. So let's be friendly with each other. Let's not try to abuse me in the comments saying it's just my team. I'm here to help, boys. Okay, so what you want in this type of formation, you want centre backs with at least 80 plus pace, in my opinion, because I'm going to do a video this week as well on formations and like tactical philosophies on FIFA. Why you, if you have a certain game style, why you might want to use a certain formation. I'm going to talk like the pros and cons of some of the big formations in the game and how they play, the patterns in attack. The 3 5 2, its biggest weakness is getting countered down the wings. So it's quite important to have centre backs who are pretty quick so they can quickly cover and you can manually switch and cover down the wings if you get caught out. The way I use this tactic, when I sh show you the player instructions, you'll be able to see why the wings aren't that big a liability for the most part. But what I've done with my team, I've used Theo Hernandez because he's got 84 strength. He's physically good enough to play centre back. His defending stats leave a little bit be desired, but he's rapid, he's good on the ball, and he's strong. So I play him at centre back with Romagnoli and Armendi. I'll go into the tactic and show you here. So 3 5 2, Theo Hernandez, Ron Magnoli, and not a Mendy. I like centre backs in this formation who can play with the ball, it's always an advantage. But ones who can distribute the ball, they can turn, be comfortable in possession. Because on this formation, one of the big strengths is you have players across the pitch, you've got wingers, cam, two strikers, you can quickly initiate counter attacks. And on this game where pace and counter attacks are so vital, it's really useful to have uh, centre backs who can distribute the ball well. Um, Adama Troy is the right back in for chemistry, but then he goes to right mid. I'm probably going to upgrade to the Scream Adama soon. I really like that card. Um, it's a good upgrade on the 80. I already think the 80 Adama was the best right back in the game. So the 85 is just another level. Um, nine goal and Hullet are my CDMs. Hullet can play anywhere in the midfield, but for the CDMs, it's key that you've got good physical players, good engines on them. They can bomb up and down all game. They can. They can cover the wings sometimes. And it's an advantage as well. You just want all round players here, ones who can dribble, occasionally shoot if the chance arises. Good passing. Um, Nine Golan's a little bit better than Soko, I think, in this because his passing's just that little bit better. They can distribute and play some really good through balls. Um, Gareth Bale is the left mid I use in the qualifiers because Gareth Bale is just quick, strong, can ball up and down the wing. The left and right mid, it's vital that they've got high pace. You want ones who can get back and defend quick on counter-attacks. Um, ones who can get in behind to counter-attack for you. Good dribbling's nice so they can cut in, make chances. Um, shooting's not even that key for the left and right mid in my opinion. It's obviously a plus, but I don't really shoot that often with these. I more just use them to get in behind and cut it back for the cam and the two strikers. The cam, as in any formation, needs to be good dribbling, be able to shoot, Good passing to late to the strikers. Five star weak foot is vital. Um, I think 
if you can't afford that, then there's other players you can use, like in the 500k team. So that screen Bernard would be a really good cam. But um, Neymar is brilliant in this. He can just spin on either foot. And the cam, you build a lot of your attacks around the cam. Your CDMs play it to the cam, and then your cam can distribute it to, to the wings off to the strikers. And then up front, good physical strikers, pace you can get in behind, uh, strong um, players that are decent at passes, you can do one twos, and obviously then someone who can finish it. Um, the five star weak foot is really nice on R9. I just really like all round strikers in this formation. Obviously, not everyone can afford R9, but if you can get a five star weak foot in here, that'll help a lot. Um, these are just the chair on top, these finish the chances that you get. Um, so the way that this the attack the way this formation works, I'll show you some of my champs channel gameplay so you can see it in action. But um the centre backs, they start with the ball, they distribute it. If there's a quick counter attack on because they leave a gap, you'll throw ball it down the wings. Um, sometimes you even because you've got two strikes you can catch people out and get in behind quick with them. But if they set up sharp, start to defend deep, then you can play around the midfield and use the whip that the wings give you to open teams up and then cut it back for the strikers. The instructions, obviously just default on all the centre backs. I have cover centre, stay back while attacking on the CDMs. Um, for Hullet, because he's really good going forward, um, I put him on bounce attack. If you've got more limited midfielders than Hullet, I just put both on stay back. But if you've got a pretty good um, ball player at CDM, then put him at bounce can be helpful, just gives you that extra man. The wingers I have on getting behind to use their pace and come back on defence. The come back on defence is key because it really helps defend the wings. Um, a lot of people try to burn you down the wings in this formation, but this makes a big difference. So that's key. Um, the cam I have on come back on defence. Um, and everything else just default. The strikers are both on come back on defence. Because I try my best to just get every man behind the ball because it's just so effective this FIFA. But then stay central, getting behind on the strikers. In some of the other formations, you don't want your strikers on stay central. But in this formation where I've got two wingers anyway, I want them in the middle, ready to pounce on through balls and cutbacks. Um, the tactic side of it, play drop back. There's a patch that might be nerfing this, so I'll have to see how that plays out. From what I can gather and what I think the patch will play like, I don't actually think it's going to be that big a nerf to drop back, but we'll have to see. Um, four width, four depth. I thought it was on one width, one depth, but apparently not. The four width, four depth though works very well. Everyone on comeback on defense gets behind the ball. Um, it's very, very hard to break this down. Lots of people get frustrated and struggle. And for the offense, I just use five, five balanced players in, in the box and width. Um, this formation is a very balanced formation. The attack, it's got whip, it's got central players. It ju I just love the attacking patterns in this formation. I'll show you some in the gameplay. Um, if I need to um, change, it, like don't you don't want to be on drop back. Everyone come back on defense if you're losing. But the three five two is still a very very good formation for pressing your opponent because it has whip, it has the two strikers, it has men across the pitch, so it's good for pressing. If I go a goal down, I'll go to balance defensive style and I'll put the um, strikes on stay forward and the cam on balanced and the wings on balanced. And then this formation, this this tactic, the attacking one, you can change the team press if you really need to chase a game later on. But um, that is enough, just the attacking and defensive to use this formation. Um, I played this in the pro qualifiers this weekend. I went three wins, three losses. It does work against pro level players had some very good wins with it and here for you know this weekend league um let's go to the champs channel we'll show you some gameplay we'll pick a game where um i scored quite a few goals so you can see some of the attacking pans that game that one there was a pretty tight one and jambu was watching the game he was on a call with me um i was going mental during this game um losing my head a bit he scored a goal where um, he crossed it shot hit my keeper hit my defender and went into my own net 8-1 uh, ok we beat someone 8-1 so let's watch some of the goals highlights from this 
you get to see a bit more in depth here some of the um, attacking patterns that I use in this formation. The reason I really love this formation is when everyone's on drop back, they're not used to defending the attacking patterns at the three five two throws of them. There's not really any form. There's not really any formations that in without a four back that have the two strikers, a cam, and two wingers. You have the four one two one two wide, but I just think the midfield is not good enough in that formation because um, you only have the cam and the CDM. It's a bit disjointed where the two CDMs to cam and this really work well together. So you can see there, Mbappe goes wide. You have the two strikers they can play with. Lucky goal. Bit of a deflection. But you see there, his defence was stretched by Mbappe going out wide. Uh, let's fast forward to another game. Not game. Goal. I don't really know how Champs Channel speed it up too much. Okay. Does he score here then? Okay, so you see, the CDM wins it back there. Adama, who's not even a striker, he's just my right mid, counters, attacks really quick, bursts down the wing. You cut back in with a dead stop fake. The dead stop fake is a really good trick on the wings. In this formation, with the left and right mid, you want to use the dead stop fake a lot, so the defender goes past you. You can change the direction quick. You cut back to the middle. Then my CDM sometimes get involved. Distribute the ball. Neymar the cam runs through. And just look here at the options. We've got Neymar, who's in front of the centre back. We've got Aguero, who's taking another centre back. We've got Hullet and Mbappe still around the box. Then R9 still to come in. Quick ball roll. It's not easy to defend this because I've got so many options. Finesse. Goal. It's so hard for the people to defend this. Sometimes it even breaks down the drop back because there's just so many options. It's an overload of players that this is a really good way to break your opponents down. I think we've got another goal here. See there, Neymar makes the pass. When Neymar makes that pass, he creates space. He bombs forward from it. But because there's two strikers and a cam, there's not enough defenders when you get countered to defend it. Lots of space there. Quick one two passing because I've got the cam and the two strikers. Guerra gets in space. Goal. It's so hard for people to defend. I think that shows enough there just of how the patterns of this formation work. It shows how hard it is for people to defend because you have a cam and two strikers centrally who do so much work, stretch the defence, but then the full backs might get drawn into the two strikers, but then the left and right mid give you width. There's not really a better formation right now, in my opinion, in the game for opening people up in attack. You just have to be very careful the counter attacks down the wing. But that's why I say the comeback on defense on the wing is important. Sometimes you might have to drag your centre backs manually to cover that. But it's a really good formation. It's helped me have a lot more fun with the game. I found the 4 2 3 1 I got a bit stagnant in my attack. The pans just weren't as exciting and interesting for me. I enjoy the game a lot more playing with this formation. But it's still a very good defensive formation when you get people behind the ball. I really like this formation. Help me here for, you know, it's worked to high level Div 1 rivals. Hope you guys will like it too. If you like these videos, literally please like them. It lets me know that you're enjoying the content. Check out my Twitch. I stream every single day over on Twitch. Lots of content for you on there. I appreciate you watching. Have a good night. Peace.